when you have followed my channel you will surely know that I was working with this chip now in the middle of the screen here and this is only a vlog I'm not going to publish uh, certain schematics uh, when I want to do that and want to tell more about all the experiments that I did during the past days during the week uh, it could be it could take an hour or so anyway so uh, a vlog only a vlog about the experiments with the 74 HCT 446 chip it's a voltage controlled oscillator and a face locked loop uh, again don't ask me something about a face locked loop circuit I don't know anything about it I only wanted to use it as an oscillator chip for square wave oscillations and here it is in the middle of the screen the whole idea of my experiments was that I wanted to uh, make more voltage out of that chip the output voltage is in the normally in the order of 2 volts or so 2 volts AC between say 1 Hertz and say uh, 2 megahertz undistorted in that case but anyway um, so I wanted to make an amplifier to amplify that signal and I did a lot of experiments at first with a field effect transistor here uh, the good the good idea of a field effect transistor is that it has an enormous high impedance input impedance on its gate so that there must be no distortion generated and you can set a working point in to more or less linearity with the help of a potentiometer uh, I've made many videos about it on my YouTube channel anyway that was the first experiment it worked a little bit and this was the second experiment say a simple bipolar transistor circuit a BD139 and the BD139 is able to uh, work on very very high frequencies and here you can see the bias potentiometer here and here is the potentiometer in the emitter lead combined with a capacitor and with that capacitor value you can set the say in, in a certain way the frequency bands where it is all working this was another experiment at Darlington it looks very very sloppy but it worked in a certain way quite good um, and like I told when I uh, want to talk more about all these uh, experimental circuits it will take approximately two hours so I'm not going to do that only wanted to show one of these experiments and that is the experiment with a TL071 chip uh, it's um, an op amp with a very high input impedance and that's ideal because uh, it does not load the output of the uh, uh, 74 uh, HC24047 chip. So when the output uh, impedance is uh, um, properly connected from the first chip where it sends its signal out to the second chip, and it is in this case that uh, TL071. We have a uh, say a proper match, and uh, that means that in general, uh, the 
the waveform does not get distorted due to a too high impedance or so. So that's what I want to show. Now uh, this is the circuit again. I have paid attention to the comments of Hobby Rob. Rob, thank Rob for watching my circuits and commenting. Uh, I've made the wiring so much more short but on the other hand, well, uh, it must also be in such a way that you can take the circuit apart. Anyway, so here we have the front and here we have the, uh, the oscillator circuit. Uh, the voltage controlled oscillator. And the good thing is that we now have an output voltage in the order of, say, 3 volts. AC, of course. Anyway, let's look on the scope because without an oscilloscope you are blind, completely blind. So uh, I can advise everyone interested in electronics to buy an oscilloscope. Here the, the circuits again, they are not failed but they show, say, in the properties that I don't want. And also this proper, this circuit shows the properties that I don't want anyway. It's all about, say, the art and problems of electronics. Well, uh, you, I switch out now all the lights and I will show the circuit where I have used an op-amp TL071 and the TL071 is connected directly to an emitter stage, grounded emitter stage with a BC547. Uh, that BC547 is often regarded as a typical audio amplifier. Well, it surely is not a typical audio amplifier. So I don't show schematics, but only show some experimental results. I change now the, uh, the 1K potentiometer in the emitter lead of that BC547. Say that it's a second transistor that amplifies the signal that go, comes out of the TL071, that is an, an op-amp with a field effect transistor uh, input. So let's see what happens. So this is surely a good way showing amplification of that second stage. You can surely see that the square wave here is no longer a square wave but a kind of triangle wave. So let's go, let's switch to a lower frequency. Now it's 2.2 megahertz. Switch now to an other frequency. Now it's 845 kilohertz. This is also, and that's the say the bad thing about this circuit. I don't want it this way. So I have to do more experiments. Testing more circuits. Uh, this does not show as a properly amplified square wave. But we are on 832 kilohertz. It doesn't mean that you cannot uh, that, that, it, that is an waveform that you cannot need. But surely it's it's uh, it could be used as a certain waveform anyway. Back to lower frequencies 345 kilohertz and now I again changed the amplification of the uh, second stage. Changing the value of that 1K potentiometer in the emitter lead of the BC547B. And now I go to lower frequencies. Well, and of course you see in a certain way that when the frequency gets lower the whole thing works 
nice. So now it's 80 kilohertz, good proper waveform in that circuit with the TL071 and that BC547. And now I switch back again to the lower frequency band. Let's see what happens there. I only have five minutes on my camera, so now we are on 16 kilohertz. Switch back to lower frequencies. Let's see if there is distortion in the waveform. So here we have distortion. Well, we are now on we are now on one kilohertz, and that's not good. So that's all experimental what I'm doing. And of course we are now on say, well, 9 hertz, 7 hertz, but this surely does not work nice. Anyway, uh, it's only a flaw. Say, uh, here the whole circuit starts to work properly, 1.6 kilohertz. And I will tune the potentiometer now, the frequency potentiometer. Let's see where the distortion pops up. Here it pops up. So the whole circuit works properly from frequencies between 1.3 uh, kilohertz and say this frequency 6.4 kilohertz and let's go higher. And here we have say no longer a proper uh, say square wave. Well, the idea of this video was and is uh, to show, say, all kinds of experimental results. Like I told, this is an experiment uh, to amplify the beautiful signal coming out of this uh, chip. This is not a circuit tested, well tested, and this also, etc. etc. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm surely going to do more experiments, but on the other hand, I found that with all these circuits, uh, say uh, a very sharp square wave cannot be uh, amplified properly. Again, thanks for watching. That was all. Reason to do more experiments. Trying uh, other transistors, field effect transistors, perhaps even MOSFETs, etc.